go. Hi, Hi Michael. I'm Travis. I'm on the built a bike, and I'm going to do a little uh, demonstration on how to disassemble it uh, so you can put it in the case. Uh, so Wade here is going to film it, and first thing I'm going to do is remove the front wheel. Remove both wheels, as a matter of fact. Put those to the side for now. do is remove the brake. This is a little connector here. It just threads together. And when you thread it back together, you make sure it's just really snug, finger tight. This just threads apart there at the junction. So it disconnects from the back. And then the electrical connector, as Wade's showing you here very closely, it takes this little tool, which will be in the case. You just put that on there, and you just kind of have to Hook it off there just like that. So that will just dangle. Let's see here. Okay. And then it'll take a five millimeter Allen. Probably have one of these in the box. And there's a nut on the back side of the fork leg. And you just loosen that up. And it'll come right out of the back. do is I'll slide the front brake out, reattach the nut so we don't lose it, and when sliding this back through and attaching it, just you have to make sure this is, you can tighten it down super tight because you want the front brake to be on there really tight. So that, theoretically, takes the whole front handlebar and everything and makes it separate from the rest of the bike. So at this point, we can loosen the stem bolts here. And then the top cap, which is a five millimeter. Yeah, we'll include all the tools just, just so he has his own separate tools that go with this bike in this case. Okay. So you can see, just try to remember the orientation of where things are at. Um, you know, when once your fit is exact, you know, we'll just make sure that this is all in the right order. Great idea just to snap a picture of it so that you can always look at your camera and see how to disassemble it. And that just slides off just like that, and you have the whole handlebar as its own unit. That aside for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide this cardboard block here. Actually, this one's too small. One moment. Ha ha ha. How funny. Travis, there's Travis digging, digging around. We've got a very expensive production time here. <laughs> so that just acts as a spacer since the stem is gone. Keep, yeah, keeps the fork from sliding down. And then I'm just going to tension it on there just like I had the stem in there, just to, so as it's in travel it doesn't bang around. And, lose any spacers. So you can see, pretty much assembled there. And then we're just going to disconnect the frame parts. Do you have the tool for that? I do. Oh, look at so that. it comes with the tool from 7 here. And I use just the large spanner portion here. How tight do you tighten that? What's the rule? Or do you just tighten it like a mother? Yeah. The, we'll make sure that you have the torque. This specific torque. But there's no, is there a torque setting on it, a torque wrench on it? No, but I mean, you can, uh, you can pretty much get it as tight as you just want. Just tight, yeah. yeah. And there's no way you're going to be able to over torque it with this tool. So. Oh, right, the tool's only so long. Right. So at this point, I'm going to hold the frame, and then you can see this pulls apart. You know, all these zip ties are supposed to be there. What they're doing is to keep the wire from rattling around inside the frame. And at this part, what we're going to have is a, you know, a piece of shrink wrap tubing over this. And it's a different kind of connector. You can actually just connect it with your fingers. And you just broke this? No, it, it, I had already cut it. So okay, good. For the sake of the demonstration. Oh, great. But 
when you reconnect it, when you wherever you arrive and you start riding your bike, you're probably going to want to use a piece of shrink wrap or wrap some electrical tape around this. Um, the more secure the fitting, like a piece of shrink wrap tubing, the more waterproof and the longer the whole system is going to last. So, you know, a piece of electrical tape or duct tape and a jam will work um, as long as it's sealed. But again, you can just disconnect it there. And the connector does go together in a specific way, so just make sure you pay attention to that. And you cut that, you just cut that with a thin razor blade and then split it. That's yeah, exactly. Do. So we'll include some shrink tubing in it with you um, so that you can always have that option to re shrink wrap it and just use a cigarette lighter to melt it and to, to shrink it up. So as you can see, that's the front end. Not really the only thing is this wire here, and this comes out and this attaches to the handlebar. So that's the front and the back. And what these zip ties do on the inside, they simply go in the tube keep them from rattling to around. keep the wires from rattling. So they just take up space in there and kind of force the wire up against the side. It's a funny little application, but it works really well. So just be careful not to clamp them one down when you, you know, make sure the wires are yeah. completely recessed up inside of here when you go to join the frame. Yeah. And don't um, get your lips stuck in here either. <laughs> Okay, so is that it? You think I can stop you now? Can stop it and then we'll do a different segment. Okay, thanks, Michael.